Yesterday I spoke with you regarding vasvasa and you said there are three causes for vasvasa. One of them you said is from the inner self. Now does that mean that the person is accountable for those thoughts that keep coming in their mind even though they try to stop them and also what hope is there for them if these thoughts come from within does that mean that there is no hope for them and they are doomed they don't want these evil thoughts they are tormented by them and it is causing so much despair and stress that not a moment goes by in the day when they think that they are you know um, doomed and they don't have sister, anything in the Sarah, hereafter sister sara sara can you hear me Brother. i perfectly yes, I feel you and I totally comprehend what you're describing because we treat cases like that in the counseling sessions. Let me answer you briefly. Any evil thought, any waswasa that crosses your mind, whether from your inner self or from the shaitan, you're not accountable for whatsoever. As a matter of fact, what you mentioned right now made the Prophet Wasallam very happy and he said to some of his companions when they said oh sometimes evil thoughts cross my mind that i wish i would die and not even think about it he said that is the ultimate faith and iman not to have the thoughts to have the feeling that it's terrible i don't want to think about it you know it's very painful you know it is tormenting me i don't want to think about them yes None of that will affect you. You're not doomed. You're not cursed. You will not be accountable for even the thoughts which cross your mind. Alhamdulillah. As a matter of fact, for feeling bad whenever these whispers cross your mind, you will be rewarded for. Because that's a sign that you truly believe in Allah. That's a sign that you want to be a devout worshiper. But something, something out of your control is trying to mess up. This beautiful relationship that you show in devotion to the Almighty Allah. Don't worry about it. You just need therapy in order to get rid of the thoughts. But otherwise, don't you ever think you're doomed, or you're ruined, or you're cursed by any mean. As long as, alhamdulillah, you say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, and you know its meaning. And you pray the five daily prayers. And if you can fast Ramadan, you're fasting, alhamdulillah, you're a beautiful believer, mashallah. Sarah, are you still on the line? Yes. Go I'm ahead. still on the line. I'm still trying to process what you're saying because it's so difficult to get rid of those thoughts. And no, they it, is just not, don't it, it is not difficult. You just need to you know, go through uh, therapy sessions. But the, the, the part which really concerns me and you right now is to answer your question how painful it is and uh, it is affecting your life. So don't feel bad about it. Alhamdulillah, none of that, don't be scared, none of that would affect your relationship with Allah or your word. You're not accountable for any of that.